If we consider the meanings of the months of the Islamic calendar, one striking pattern emerges. Nine of the twelve months can be linked to specific seasons. The most obvious of these are Rabi' al-Awwal and Rabi' al-Thani. Both of these months are named after a season, Rabi' or spring in English. The following months are called Jumad al-Ula and Jumad al-Akhira. In Arabic, when describing a land as Jumad, it means that it is arid or parched. Arth Jumad, qahila la matara fiha. Logically, this corresponds to the period of time with the lowest rate of precipitation, which in Mecca happens during the months of June and July. Notice that it's right after spring. Next comes the month of Rajab. One of the definitions of this word is the following. رُجِّبَ الْكَرْمُ سُوِّيَتْ سُرُوهُ وَوُضِعَ مَوَضِعَهُ مِنَ الدِّعَامِ وَالْقِلَالِ وَالرُجْبُ مَا بَيْنَ الظِّلَعِ وَالْقَصِّي In English, this means adjusting the grape stems and putting them on trellis or in containers. And the second definition is anything from supporting a heavy load to picking. In other words, Rajab describes the process of grape harvest. This makes sense considering the fact that in Saudi Arabia, the seasonal production of grapes begins in mid-July, meaning that it occurs right after the period of parched land. Shaban is the following month. It means scattered. According to historical accounts, it was given this name because during this month, the Arab tribes used to scatter across the land searching for water. Since the people have been experiencing a period of drought, it makes sense that their water reserves would be depleted by this time of year, forcing them to look for more. And then there is the month of Ramadan. Believe it or not, it's also linked to a season. In Arabic, the word Ar-Ramadh is the name given to the first rain that falls on hot burning land right before the autumn season. Therefore, Ramadan should fall sometime between September and October. This is very interesting because the equinox occurs around this time of year, which means that during this period, days are neither too long nor too short, an ideal time for fasting. Furthermore, day length would be similar across all the countries in the world. After Ramadan comes Shawwal, which is the month that marks the beginning of breeding season for camels. Biologically speaking, dromedaries start breeding during the rainy season, which in Saudi Arabia happens around November. The names of the three following months do not indicate a particular season. They also happen to be three of the four sacred months in Islam. It's possibly the reason why their names were chosen to describe religious events rather than distinct seasons. Regardless, if we consider the months that came before, Dhul Qada, Dhul Hajja, and Muharram would occur sometime in December, January, and February, respectively. And finally, there is the month of Safar. In Arabic, Safar means null. This word is also linked to a certain phenomenon known as Istiwa al-Layli wal-Nahar, meaning the equalization of day length and night length. Now, if we place Safar within the context of all the months that came before and the months that come after, we see that it falls between February and March, which perfectly coincides with the time of the second equinox of the year. Perhaps understanding the names of these months gives a whole new perspective to the Islamic calendar, one that may have been ignored or forgotten for a thousand years.